Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, who do I have in the studios with me? This is Aaron and Ben Napier. I'm Ben, she's Aaron. Coming from Laurel, Mississippi. Well, it sounds like I could tell by your accent. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. Thank you for having us. Well, if I could start with you, Aaron. Kids, it's Friday, so tell me what you know my audience wants to know. Yes, we have got all kinds of DIY, budget-friendly tips for your backyard to get it summer ready for parties and entertaining. Yeah, it's Friday, so people are getting ready for the weekend. I know, I've been ready since Monday, so I'm ready. <laughs> what do you got for me? <laughs> um, it's important to, to make people feel comfortable when you have a, a party outside. So if you just have, I mean, you know, being from the South, we love our food and everything, but you got to have something to kind of set the mood. And so we're uh, big on having playlists available and having, um, we actually like to string party lights. Yes, party lights help camouflage an imperfect yard. Everybody's got a couple weeds sprouting up here and there, maybe a little bald spot in the grass. But if you string party lights around the outdoor entertaining areas, no one's going to notice. It's going to feel like a movie set. It's going to be magical. I'm going to take your advice because I've got a nice backyard, but I have ugly grass. So maybe, you know, if I do it at nighttime with some party lights, nobody exactly. will see my ugly grass. Exactly. Okay, give me some other tips because, as you know, like you said, in the South, we love outside. It's, it's another room. It's another place. It I is. It. And I actually, Ben, it blew his mind when I wanted to have a little get-together at our house, and I pulled things from inside our house to outside, some rugs, some uh, chairs, quilts. a dinner table, quilts, pillows, lamps. When you bring the inside to the outdoors, it makes it feel ambient and really magical. It makes it a special event, even yeah. if it's just a few friends coming over. It becomes more than an outdoor space. It's an actual room then to entertain in. And so that was, that's pretty cool. All right, I've got a Facebook question for you guys. My first Facebook question, it says that I wanna entertain outside but I'm on a budget. How do I do this outside? Well, um, and when, when entertaining outside on a budget, it, you know, with the, we talked about having a playlist. One thing that we like to do is we'll set up a cup and just drop the phone in there because, I mean, even if you've got a Bluetooth speaker, sometimes they don't work, the battery's not charged, or, you know, sometimes we just don't have one. I don't own one. And so we just drop them in the cup and then it creates, you know, a little bit of a speaker. It amplifies the sound. And, you know, we've all got those plastic cups that we've gotten from fast food restaurants. And if you tuck it away around. and drop your phone in, it makes a great wireless speaker without spending any money at all. And then also, I mean, a great way to save money and to make money is to use the Bank America Cash Rewards credit card anytime you shop at a grocery store or you buy gas or if you make any purchase, you get cash back for those purchases. So. You save money by buying and doing things yourself, but then you get money back. And yeah. that's important to me. I'm thrifty. I like to save money however I can. Yeah, and it's on everything. I mean, the gas for your yard, to cut your yard, to get it ready for a party, the food and the, the supplies to and host a party. Else. And then anything else. Like, it's you're, you're making money every on everything you buy. I like those ideas. Let me ask you, what, you guys didn't talk about any food. What am I going to feed the people if I bring them to my backyard? Oh, man. I mean, obviously, you're going to need to grill. We're, but. we're pretty passionate about food. We live in Mississippi. Um, I think Texas understands. <clears throat> but, we do. Yeah. 
So we love pimento cheese. It's a big deal here. I don't know how it is in Texas, but we have a great pimento cheese recipe. It's like pimento cheese is a uh, cream cheese, sharp cheddar. That's important. Must be sharp. Jar of pimentos, a little garlic powder, cayenne some pepper, mayo. some mayo, and a little bit of salt and pepper. You'll have the best pimento cheese in the world. It's awesome as a dip. It's also great as like a sandwich with like BLT with pimento cheese. Takes it to a new level. But you know, you need to, people need to experiment a little bit and make it their own. And with, with something like that, you can. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to add your, Put own, your own little. Put your own spin on your own pimento cheese. Throw in a special ingredient. Okay, I'm going to make that this weekend because I'm known for happy hour every Friday. Oh, so what I'm time? I'm going to make that. What yeah, time is that? that today. <laughs> ben said he's coming. What time is it? You guys are invited, definitely. <laughs> it's Friday. The weather's still not too hot. So I'm going to take out my rugs from my house. I'm going to bring out some furniture, and I'm going to make this pimento cheese, and I'm going to wow my guests. Yeah, gonna you love are. It. It's going to be so fun. Well, you guys are too much fun, Aaron and Ben. Let me ask you. You guys are design experts. How did you get to be such experts? Ah, we by just, being thrifty. Yeah, by doing this. <laughs> um, trying to save money where we can, doing things ourselves. Yeah, when we first got married, we wanted to fill our house up with furniture, but the furniture I loved, we couldn't afford. We were just kids. We didn't have money. So Ben, who kind of experimented in woodworking when we were in college, just built the furniture for our home. And then I would furnish it the way I saw in magazines by using things that I had. And here we are home design experts. It just takes experimenting and using what you have to make something beautiful. All right then, well what's your next project? And I gotta let you go because my time's running out. What's, what's great next project for the two of you? Ah, we're working on a lot of houses here in Laurel right now. So that's, that's, we the, are. We're, that's the big project. Uh, we're filming season one of Hometown for HDTV that'll be out next year. All right, I can't wait to see because you guys seem like you're so much fun. Thank you for being my guest today on Friday. You've made my day. Thank, Thank you for you having so much. us.